Hey, what's up, you guys? Okay, it's Izzy, if you didn't know. Um, today we're just gonna kind of be talking and chilling, so I think that's kind of cool because I haven't done a video like this in a while, and I just, I don't know. <laughs> don't even ask me. Things have been kind of crazy lately, and a lot of stuff has been happening, so it's kind of matey, matey. Arrgh, matey. Oh my gosh, I hate myself. No, make it stop. <laughs> okay, so basically, I just kind of like... Hair? Hair. I kind of want to have like a conversation, like just... About life and kind of just where I'm at. Because, I don't know, it might help people, it might just help me. Honestly, I film like a lot of stuff, which you guys don't even really like know about or hear about or anything like that. But, like, it helps me, I think, just talking to a camera and just letting my feelings out. Stuff like that, because I'm, I'm very emotional. I have a lot of strong emotions, like, 24-7. So, yeah. So, let's just talk. Um, I've had some trouble recently, just, like, with anxiety. And if you guys don't know, I have OCD. So, I struggle with that a little bit here and there. And I think... As I'm growing older, it's just getting a little bit worse than it was when I was a kid. The fears are a little more life-orientated, or should I say adulting-orientated. It's just, it's one of those things where I'm kind of working through it, but um, I want to be honest with you guys too, open with you guys too about why I'm not here and why I'm not making videos or content or anything, shorts, TikToks, anything, because... I just, I've really been struggling personally, and I think that I have a lot of growing up to do, and I, I think I take myself way too seriously. I genuinely, for like a while there, was like, oh, I'm 17, I'm like an adult, oh, I know this and that. I don't think I really know shit now that I really like take a look at my life and like step back. I think it's just like a lot of like, just personal development and stuff um I have a lot of things to learn <laughs> and I also want to make a big apology I don't know who's watching this but um if you are someone who maybe has known me for a while or even a little bit and I haven't been really honest with you or I haven't been really like friendly with you or even you feel like I've lied to you or something I want to apologize and I want to say I know, like, maybe I don't seem like the best friend or I don't seem like the best person to be around right now, and um, I accept that, and I think that's okay. And I think everyone's growing, and I think I just need to grow more as a person and as just, like, as as a kid, too, and kind of register that, like, I I am a kid, you know? Like, even if I'm going to be 18 this year and it's freaking me the fuck out <laughs> i'm still a kid um and i think i don't i don't want to put the blame on my parents or anything but i do regret some not doing certain things i think i regret missing out on certain experiences with like other kids got to do and i didn't really get to do of course i got so many really cool experiences thanks to my parents when i was younger and i think that's so awesome and sick sometimes i feel like i didn't have many experiences to um make friends and stuff because i'm an only child so i don't really like get along with people too well also because of my ocd and because of my anxiety it kind of gets harder for me to make friends and the only way I've learned to make friends is kind of being kind of wacky and crazy and just like screaming and just going and jumping on people and finding something which they might like and just making it something where it's like oh I want to learn about that because I do I genuinely do want to learn about other people and other things that they like um and whatever you guys like so please leave that in the comments or whatever leave that in the comments or whatever something you like something you're interested in um and all that jazz because like I really do get interested to read the comments and like it really brightens my day when someone leaves a really sweet comment or something and sometimes that's just what I need or that's what somebody else needs I like when um people in my comments are being nice to each other 
and I've been on YouTube for a long time, even though there has been some bumps on the roads, and I did delete a lot of my channels, but, um, I've been on YouTube for a while. I kind of, like, I don't know, I just feel like this is something I want to do with my life, and sometimes when I think about it a lot, it stresses me out, because I'm, like, I'm not very qualified in other things, and I look down on myself a lot, so it's one of those things I just struggle with where I'm like, what am I even doing, you know? Like, I'm sitting in front of my phone at, like, 2 a.m. I'm, like, recording something people might never see. I videotape a lot of stuff, but it just really depends on what I put in and what I don't. Um, yeah. And I think recently I kind of got bullied by a lot of people who I thought were my friends about who I am as a person, my self-image and stuff, and me being emo and stuff, and I think that happens a lot. And then I kind of go in this dip in this funk where, like, I try to not be and try to stop listening to emo music and any type of rock music or any type of like psychedelic music I listen to because I feel like it makes me weird and unlikable again comes back to that like whole only child desperation for friend thing but um yeah but as we can see I'm back to normal and um I'm feeling really really good and, and I really hope you all are feeling really good um if you're not that's okay too because sometimes we don't feel good and that's okay nobody has to feel great constantly and that's also something I've had to learn I think and I'm still learning that um that I don't have to be happy and okay 24 7 because I don't have the ability to um I think I put a lot of pressure on myself that like I should be how I see some people who may not have OCD or anxiety like me but they're dealing with their own stuff and I wouldn't want to deal with that stuff the same way they wouldn't want to deal with my stuff. So it's like one of those things where you kind of have to learn um, that it's okay to not be okay. <sighs> the most emo thing ever said in the history of the world. Well, I'm like 20% sure that Gerard Way has already said that exact same thing. My bad. Anyway, back to what I was saying. I hope this little video kind of helps somebody or helps me at least. I think it has. Um, and I'll see you guys later. All right. Bye, Spookies. I love you so much.